Welcome back, everybody. On today's Kidding with Kayla, we are talking about when to know if your kid needs to go to the doctor. Yeah, so sometimes it is a tough call, I know, as a mama. Mm -hmm. Here is Kayla's viral report on the topic. Hi, Kayla Sullivan reporting live outside urgent care where I just spent three hours to be told my son has a common cold. I can confirm my copay was $100 and I'll be likely getting another bill for the slew of tests that came back negative. This isn't the first and it won't be the last urgent care trip taken out of an abundance of caution. History shows my son is more likely to get sick on weekends, holidays or vacations. My anxiety says, quote, don't wait for the pediatrician to be available it could be serious and you could be a bad mom for not taking him quick he may need an antibiotic and my bank account says quote you're an idiot back to you <laughs> the struggle there is so much truth to this oh my god i remember going to urgent care one time because i'm like ah i don't know for what reason we couldn't mm. make it to the clinic couldn't get in and the price, I'm like, well, wait a minute, she just, ne no, we're oh, good, she, we're we, good, no, we're not going to do this, <laughs> like, she's fine, she just needs some medication. It's like, you, like, you troubleshoot what? everything you can at home, <laughs> just to make sure, like, we don't need to go to the doctor. Well, it's a no wonder, and you hate to talk about that, but it's a no wonder so many people do kind of put it off. Yeah. The expense hit you. is just <laughs> crazy, but I mean, Kayla's not alone. Mm -mm. Uh, many parents joined in and shared their hilarious reasons for taking their kids to the ER or urgent care. So there you go. You can hear about all those instances uh, on All Indiana at 4. I got a story of my own that I'll, I'll say for Oh, you do? I do. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hear about that later. Uh -huh.